There's a big mustache hair sticking out there. Oh. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I am here with another box from Japan. This is a box from Japan. It is Dragon Ball Super from Japan. The Dragon Ball Super card game Cross Spirits Unison Warrior Set 5. If this is your guys' first time here and you want to see shrimps and deck profiles and all that Dragon Ball Super card game goodness on a weekly basis, smush that subscription button if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew. Let's find these secret rare. I'm on a pirate mission, on a pirate hunt for shiny treasure. Dragon Ball Super card game, shiny, amazing cardboard. Shrip them. We got our booster box here to shrip them with our dragon's knife. So slice them here. And let's get in here. It's got to be deep, deep in the box somewhere. Ooh, SPR Bad Rock. Very, very nice box topper. And of course, we got to bless him the pack of Gogeta. Be bless him. Find that secret rare in you though. Shrip them. And we got a parallel foil. Hunting, searching for the secret rare. Where could it be? It is gonna be directly at the back of the pack. It will be the last card in the pack. So you gotta just strip them and you get right in there and pull that secret rare right out of the back of the pack. So excited. The secret rares from the set just look absolutely gorgeous. They're really, really good looking cards. All the art in this set just looks great. They did such a great job with them. But that Goku Frieza secret rare is the one we are hunting for. And it may or may not be in one of these packs. But it should be since we got a blessing box. I'd love to pull a God box. The God box has God pack and the God pack has an SPR. And the box also has a secret rare in it. So if we do pull a God pack, there's a pretty good chance that the secret rare is gonna be in the same box. But you just gotta strip them. That's the only way to find out. You gotta crack these packs and strip them the packs, pull the card from the back of the pack. Oh, they're opening the gates of heck. I am really looking forward to playing a couple different archetypes in this set. I think uh, I think Jiren's going to be really fun. I also think that the Helku is going to be really fun. I was really psyched on the Skillless Gohan, but after some testing, it seems like it has some plot holes. Um, without keeping the Gohan, ooh, our first SPR Android 18. Without keeping the Gohan on board. The deck really lacks in its draw since you are just cycling cards and you're not plussing as much. I think it's possible for it to still be good. I need to see. Maybe there'll be some more support, but I'm a little more keen on the starter deck Vegeta right now. I think starter deck Vegeta is probably the way I'm going to go for my U7 building this set. He seems pretty strong. I think also the old starter deck uh, Goku from set 9 could be really good as well. Ooh, yo, sha, yo. Here we go. This is it. This is the Majin Buu Kibito Kai Absorb Secret Rare. Wow. That is a good looking card. Oh my god, though. Yo, sha, yo. Wow. What a beautiful piece of cardboard. The gold foil on this looks so good. And the way that Buu just stands out from the background. Wow. That is an insane looking card. I think we're going to have to take a closer look at this one. We're going to have to put our loops on here to take look at this shiny piece of cardboard oh whoa oh ow whoa oh ow. oh that is a nice looking piece of a shiny cardboard wow would you look at that oh my god oh my god oh, yeah. oh whoa oh whoa. god look at that look at the shine on that thing that is something else i have not seen a piece of cardboard that looks as dang good when it's so shiny. And this card is insane. You can just straight up steal a unison with this thing, which is nuts. That is bonkers. That is completely bananas that you just sneak in and just snag someone else's unison in a activate main or activate battle. There's a big mustache hair sticking out there. Oh, the fact that you can just slide in there and snag a, somebody's unison and get a double striker on board. Whew, that is strong. And you can, it's not color locked either. You can play this in multicolor. You just need two green energy, which is bananas, bonkers. All right, let's put this thing in a sleeve. What an amazing looking card. Oh my God. Yo ho ho sha. 
Uh, sleeve up. And there's our secret rare. We did it. Pull the bill. And our next trip on here. What do we got? Ooh, Bad Rock. SR. Trip them. Should be another SPR in one of these packs. The Sin Shenron stuff looks good too. I think that's going to be a pretty strong leader. SPR here, or are we going to get the SPR in the Blessing pack? <laughs> Or does the box topper take the spot of the other SPR, or do you get three SPRs? This looks like a, ooh, yeah, the Gohan SPR, wow. This card is so dang gorgeous, oh my god, wow. The gold stamp on here, and no print line also, that is great. That is a fire pull, wow, Yosha. <laughs> God, these cards look so dang good. Wow, what a box, what a fire box. SPR box topper and a secret rare and the Gohan SPR, amazing. Anyway guys, that's been the Shrip'em. I hope you guys enjoyed this Shrip'em. I am a dentist, I can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip today, don't do at home orthodontics. Go to a dentist and talk to them about it. There are a lot of problems that can arise from trying to do your ortho at home. If you straight, try and straighten your teeth with one of those companies that you just get all the stuff mailed to your house, there are a lot of problems that can arise from that. You can lose teeth even. So I would highly recommend going to a dentist and talking about them, getting a consult. And if you want to straighten your teeth, do it that way. That's been my dental tooth tip of the day. I am Joku DMD and I'll see you guys next time.